All right, today I'm here with Mark. Mark, what are we gonna do for your tennis game today? I'm gonna work on my backhand. All right, your backhand, what about your backhand? First of all, Mark, how long have you been playing tennis? I think about three years. Three years now, okay, all right. I think you're making great progress, personally. You. You've been around the, our program enough, I think you got the most important key things down. But uh, what about your backhand in general, would you like to do better? It, it needs to be stronger. Harder, harder stronger, stronger, more power. More power. Good, so it's not so much consistency and direction, but just you'd like to be able to hit a bigger ball. Right. All right, I like it. I like it. I think being able to hit the ball harder is one of the biggest differences we see in levels of tennis jumping. Like being able to simply go and hit a hard ball. It, it does matter. It is important. Okay. Some people say hitting hard is not everything. I say, well, it'd be nice to as well, okay. right? So we're going to go over. Uh, we're going we're gonna to use the ball machine. We're going to set it up. We're going to film you hitting a few backhands. We're going to look at it high speed, slow motion. We're going to do a couple drills to try to correct it. And we'll see if we can make it better. All right. All right, you ready? Sounds great. All right. Thanks. Okay, Mark, there's actually three things that should happen to generate um, power and accuracy with your body when you hit it. You should uncoil, you should lift, and you should transfer. Now, to uncoil, you have to coil. And you can see here, um, you'll see on the post video that your body just isn't turned enough. You're starting sideways, so you're not going to get an uncoiling of the hips and the shoulders to hit the ball. And that's one of the most important ways to generate power. So you're losing the kinetic chain. So you're really just kind of arming it in there to the hit. But in addition to that, when you do uncoil, it's not quite as simple as just keeping uncoiling. Your, your left side, this left arm and shoulder, do a little better here, but they should really shoot back. The shoulder, you should try to pull back. This left hand, you should try to pull back this way. When you stop that left side, it's going to make the right side not only go faster, but it's going to help it stay going out to the target longer. And it'll work for as a counterbalance. So there's all kinds of good reasons to let the left side stop a little earlier than you're doing it. So we basically just need to get you to turn more and stop the left side a little better to get more racket head speed, which I think we can help you with out there. But I think you could also work on your lifting and your transferring, but really how you use your kinetic chain, I think, is the biggest factor in helping you um, generate more racket head speed. Yeah, so you want, this, you want to be looking over this right shoulder much more. Turn these knees in, turn these hips in. It's not bad. you got a great overall stroke, but I agree. You need to be able to hit it harder. You got to get this racket way back in order to do that. Let's look at it a, a little more on court here. Okay, Mark, so we saw in your analysis that there's two main things affecting your racket head speed. One is the amount that you coil your body. Okay, you can overcoil, but you're simply just turning to here. And you saw the video of myself, I was over here. And so there's, there's a couple issues. One is eye dominance. If some people don't like to see the ball out of their right eye, they only like to see it out of their left eye, they won't turn. But I think in your sense case, you just haven't gotten to the point where you're ready to hit it big enough to try to coil, but you are ready now. So um, I think th there's not too many drills for coiling. Um, there doesn't need to be. It's pretty easy because you can start coiled. Like right now, just do a shadow swing with me where you practice turning Good, and get this arm straight and feel like you're looking at the ball over your shoulder. Now that's a little awkward to see the ball there, right? Mm -hmm. So, but that's okay, that's, that's just part of the game. Okay, yeah, good, now do it again, ready? So pretend the ball's coming in and really pretend you gotta get out of the way of the ball and see it over your shoulder, okay? And then swing, good. All right, now the other thing that's stopping your racket head speed is, is not pulling your left side back and making the right side go faster. I think a lot of people confuse the kinetic chain as just this constant uncoiling, but it's a little more complicated than that. The kinetic chain works as the links uncoil, the next to last link, which in this case would be the body, stops, and then it shoots the racket out faster. So those are the two things that are gonna be good for you. One is coiling more, and then two is pulling your left side back to make the right side go faster. And then yeah, momentum will carry you open, but and again, there's not too many drills for that either, other than you backing up a little, copy me, and let's just see you practice that. Turn more, 
and then pull that left side back. Now remember, this is all based on being very loose. None of that stuff can happen if you're tight. There you go, good. That looks great. But here, start in your ready position. Let's practice it from the top. All right, turn really out of the way. Nice, that was good. Okay, ready position, really turn out of the way of the ball. Good, and stop that left side. Okay, turn really out of the way. Nice. All right, I want to hear you say yes when you hit this next one, okay? Say yes. Yes. There you go. Breathe out. Good. Good. Left arm back. Really turn. It feels what? It feels better already. Good. Ready? Turn. Nice. It should certainly feel more effortless, okay? The feet pull the knees. The knees pull the hips, the hips pull the shoulder, shoulder comes around, it fires that arm out, and right here the left side goes back. Okay, there's no one link, you don't want to feel like you're arming it. Turn, and then stop the left side to go faster with the right side. Okay, nice good turn. Good. Try to go out and hold it, out and up longer. There you go, that's what I want. Now try to get that arm a little straighter, Mark, when you turn. Good, that's much better. Again. Nice. Much better. Good. How's that feel? More power, yeah. A lot more power? Get it in the sweet spot, it really makes it easier. Yeah, and it's effortless too, you know? Good, lift up on that front leg for me, Mark. There you go.